Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. So if you are an average user, you've probably got 1.3 computers in your home. I don't know what a 0.3 computer looks like exactly, but it, it could be a laptop maybe. I guess that's a third of a computer, but then again, you have to define exactly what makes a computer. Anyway, you might have more than one computer in the house. Uh, are you backing up on a regular basis? Are you? Now be honest, and we've talked about backing up data using the internet before, but what about using your home network to back up or backing up one machine uh, to another machine that happens to be on your home network? There are a couple ways that you can do this. A, you can go out and buy a, a network drive, uh, which acts as a, well, a central place where files can be copied onto. Um, it's a hardware solution that, of course, is going to cost money. Or you can go an open source route with Backup PC, backuppc.sf.net. Yeah, can you tell I love SourceForge? There are so many really good open source projects for people to dive into without having to spend any money. And the beauty of open source, again, is that the community contributes back to the project and makes it even better over time. Backup PC is definitely for those of you who are more familiar with hardware and or network interfaces. It's not very user friendly. Now, of course, a developer is going to look at it and say, well, what do you mean? It looks user friendly to me. I mean, it's a whole bunch of, of numbers. Uh, it's web based interface. So, you know, as long as you're familiar with a web browser, you can navigate around and click a few links. But it is not as simple and straightforward for the average user. Uh, if you're someone who does know a lot about hardware and network and making sure where paths are located and other paths, uh, then backuppc.sf.net will do you just good. Uh, if you're not, then I would recommend um, a uh, home network backup machine or a hard drive, a network hard drive, a network uh, backup. They they go by various labels, uh, but the idea is, again, it's, it's essentially this hard drive that plugs right into your network, and every machine on that network can see that hard drive right to it, right from it. It's what some people call like a home server or a media server, so to speak, where uh, documents and uh, pictures and videos and audio files are centrally located on the home network. But in far, as far as a backup process is concerned, not every uh, network hard drive or I guess network com backup component uh, has uh, software that's going to give a lot of power users the kind of control that they crave and that's where backup PC really comes into play. So if you're not backing up your data, please, I, I don't know what you're waiting for because you never know when disaster is going to strike. Uh, we've talked about it before and done videos on backing up uh, using the internet or even local software. Um, and more importantly, if you haven't thought about backing up over your home network, there are a couple of options out there you may not have realized were there. That's what we're here for, though, to help you guys out with any kind of issue you may be having. We're always available at live.perillo.com. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's really simple to do. Just click the orange button. Not, not, not that one. The other one. Crisis averted there. I almost clicked the wrong orange button.